Well guys, I'm starting off this vlog because I don't know what this vlog is going to turn into or the title or anything, but I just wanted to keep you guys up to date. Last night, me and Rai went to the hospital. I had really blurry vision, um, pretty much like everything, like a blurry vision, headache, dizziness, all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, they think I might have a mild case of preeclampsia, so if you guys don't know what that is, you can Google it. Um, <laughs> I don't even personally know really what it is. It was very confusing. It was really scary actually because Baby K is doing really good in there, but I guess I'm not really. Like I have high blood pressure and a bunch of other stuff which I don't normally have. So, they actually, at one point, were worst case scenario, were going to actually induce me last night, which is probably one of the scariest things ever because I'm not ready. Well, I'm ready, but I'm not ready. <laughs> um, but yeah, so in the end, they sent us home. I'm going to get monitored. Looks like he'll come way before his due date, I think, which is crazy. So today, I'm out of breath like no other. We are going to be putting everything in the car and kind of setting up the hospital bags. So far, this is what I have for the um, hospital bag. Well, my hospital is only like four minutes away, so if I do forget anything, it's not the end of the world. But this is just stuff I have so far. I still need to go out and buy a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, but I have some nursing nightgowns. I have big, like, comfy pants. Big, comfy pants, a robe, a nursing pillow. Um, I need a couple more socks, I think. I really want, like, fluffy, comfy socks. Um, I have labor socks. Really big undies. <laughs> Um, all for Rye, I, all I have is like a pair of socks, pair of underwear, shirt, sweater, and comfy pants. And then in here, I have a bunch of stuff. So I brought, this is all baby case stuff. So I have three swaddles, um, two hats, some diapers just in case. I have my milk swab, um, or milk snob nursing cover. Um, I put, I think four, which I'm going to add a couple more. Just because I saw online that never hurts to add a couple more in there. But I have probably like four to six onesies, depending on how long he's in there for, of course. But I mean, you can never be too prepared. Plus, I have sleepers. I brought a pair of socks, another hat, um, some mittens for him. I brought a couple binkies. I know you're not supposed to introduce them right away, but just in case, you never know if you need them or not. So yeah, so that's kind of what I got going on in here. I'm not going to bring wipes or anything because I have heard that the hospital kind of just does all that for you. Um, like I said too, worst case, I'm like four minutes from home so I can get one of my moms to come and do all that for me. But this is getting insanely real. Let's go check on Rye outside. He's doing the car. Then in here, Rye has got the car. He's getting the car ready for baby. Right now, Dal had the whole back seat, so yeah, it's getting crazy. But yeah, so that's kind of what's going down, getting everything ready. I mean, he might not come for three more weeks, but hey, at least we are not going to be stressed out if anything happens, so yeah, somewhat prepared <laughs> in a small, small way. <laughs> well, guys. This video is about to turn. So, pretty much what's about to happen. So, I had this all of a sudden symptoms of this preeclampsia, preeclampsia, whatever you call it, very minor. So, I do not have it. I don't have the seizures that are involved in it. I don't and had I don't have any of that. But I do have quite a few symptoms and it's not good for me and eventually it wouldn't be good for baby. So, um what's about to happen is we went to the doctor and they were like, you know what? I was 36 weeks and five days and they were like, we're just gonna induce you. You have high blood pressure, you have this, you have that. We are going to induce you. Only thing is, is it's my first baby. I was very early. I was so three weeks early. 
So they did warn me. They said, they're like, this might take two or three days and you have to stay in the hospital once we induce you because, um, just for safety reasons. So, little did we know, we were going to be in the hospital for a long time. So, cue the footage. <laughs> Guys, we're setting up the room. Guys, little bed over here. <laughs> Got our suitcase. So, I am currently induced. So they gave me some meds. We're just chilling. I have no symptoms. I love cramping. Nothing yet, guys. So, pretty much what happened was I got induced because of high blood pressure today. And we're just chilling. We have our own private room. We have a beautiful bathroom. <laughs> We're just chilling. It's crazy. It's currently 9.30. We've been here since this morning at 10, so it's been a long day. <laughs> Yummy breakfast. Oh my gosh, guys. It's wet. Like it's soggy. Mm. Oh when you when you put it down if there's like a bunch of water that like blew. Ugh. I, got and I feel like this thing needs to be ventilated so it doesn't sweat. This is our situation. It's actually a really nice hospital. Very nice. We're not delivering in our hometown because I'm so early. So. We drive 20, 25 minutes away. Yeah. It's not terrible. But yeah. It's early for a very long time. A couple days. Yeah, I'm going to go for a walk. <clears throat> child in here. <laughs> okay, let's go for a walk. Well, it's three days later and here he is not. He's really giving Bebe a run for her money. I mean, I probably wouldn't need it. But. Okay, let's see. Is it still warm? Yeah. This is what it looks like when you live here for three days. <laughs> Guys, he's here. He slept literally through the whole night. We had to wake him up, but he loves sleeping. Yeah, just like you. Oh, he's so precious. He did? Well, I just had to drink milk. Hopefully this is the last day we're seeing of this room. I'll explain to you guys all what happened in a video. But our baby's finally here. Guys, we 
you get to go home. Hopefully. We will. We'll get to go home soon. Little Bubba sleeping. He's got his checks and he's all good. We are all packed up. I have not seen home in a week, guys. Long story short, I got induced on Friday. It is currently Thursday next week. Um, it just didn't work. It took a while and we've been here for six days. I have been. I got to go home a couple times just to shower and stuff, but I have not left. So I'm so excited to take Cohen home and Rye and just see our puppy and just live a normal life. So, yeah, I'm so excited we get to go home. Ah, yes. I slept on this chair for six days. <laughs> Literally, he slept on the chair. That was mm -hmm. car seat. He is like the best little baby ever. He just chills. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Okay, let's go home, buddy. Time to meet Dallas, your big brother. So after a long few days in the hospital, we met our sweet baby, Kay. Labor was intense. Um, pretty much what happened was they broke my water, and then about two minutes later, full contraction started. Like, I'm talking like insane, uncontrollable contractions. It lasted for about two hours. Um, they checked me. I was already like six centimeters dilated. Um, so I was able to get an epidural or five, four, four or five centimeters dilated. So I got my epidural and I was on cloud nine. I was so happy about this dang epidural. I felt so much better. Um, I know everyone has their views on that, but that's just the choice I made is an epidural. And then within an hour of having my epidural, I was nine and a half centimeters and ready to push. Um, so what happened was I pushed for two hours um, and yeah, baby K came out and we were both really safe um, and healthy. And guys, I'm a mom. <laughs> it's so crazy to think that I'm here and I'm a mom. And the moment that he came out, I'm honestly not even kidding, guys. It was like out of a movie. Like, time just stops, and I remember looking at Rai. I was just like, holy, like, he's here. Like, and he's ours, and he's part of me and him. And I think that's so special. I'm literally like tearing up thinking about it because it's insane. It's insane being a mom. So, we were all adjusting super well. Um, to this new addition, we got Dal on the ground here. He has just been so in love with him and so good. Like, I'm so impressed with him. He's going to be a very protective older brother <laughs> to Cohen. Um, I don't know if we mentioned his name, but it is Cohen. So that's our baby's name. And, yeah, so we're just adjusting really well, chilling at home, lots of chill time at home. Sorry, I'm all bunched up. I was just feeding, so... Yeah, yeah, so that's, I just wanted to kind of update you guys. There's gonna be lots more vlogs coming soon to sharing our whole family. And um, yeah, like it's crazy to me to think that I'm like not pregnant anymore and we have our baby that we've literally talked about for nine months, like he's here. So, me and I are adjusting super well too. He is the best dad ever. And I literally couldn't have done any of this without him. Like he has been my biggest supporter, so. I'm very grateful for him. Cohen is very lucky to have him as his dad. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in our next one. Bye, guys. Good dark, you good dark, if you good.